Hello, everybody. Sorry that we're 30 minutes late. Um, this is uh, Painting with Rory. And um, I thought I would do something a little different tonight. I thought that I would welcome Jamie Bennett first. <laughs> hey, Jamie. Hello. Thanks for um, having me. <laughs> are you familiar with uh, Microsoft Paint? I did it a long time ago when I was younger. Yeah. yeah. There's, there's stuff that's much better. <laughs> you know, that you can buy, um, like Corel Draw and uh, what's what's the big one? The one that everybody uses, the Photoshop? Yeah. Is that it? I think it, yeah. Um, but again, if you've just got a basic computer setup with Microsoft in it, you've got a program in there called Microsoft Paint. It's very easy, very simple to use. And again, I use it to make all of my posters for my shows and stuff. And I thought that I would give a little quick uh, glance at what kind of stuff you can do with it. Cool. Um, so I've set up a second camera um, on my tripod there. There we go. That's my screen. And as, as usual, you start with just a white blank area. So there's a message to Sandy. <laughs> I hope she comes in. I hope she comes in. Um, so up here, there's a little paint can. Um, and you can click on that paint can and you can click on any color and click on the surface and boom, you automatically get that color for your background. Uh, and if you say, well, you know what, I don't like that color, you can click it again with another color and boom, it automatically changes. And of course, you've got your back arrows to take you back to what you know you last did. And uh, that's how I set up my backgrounds. Because once you put your stuff on the canvas, it's gonna be tough to put the background around it. Yeah. Let me show you what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Let's say I'm going to paint brush. Um, ah, I don't want orange. I'm going to do a little cartoon here. Not very good at animating on this. <laughs> Angry man. <laughs> okay, so now, what's that? I said that works. <laughs> so now, let's say I want to put a red background behind it. So I click my paint can and I do the red background. Oh, boom, boom. if there's any space in between. Then it's going to get red inside his face. It's going to get red where you know you don't want it to, and there's going to be little white lines around the edges of what you did. Just saying. So uh, let me take that back. So yeah, if if I can close those lines, and I get some lines here. This ah, it's red. <laughs> I forgot that I went to red. Okay, if I can close those lines, maybe. And his hair there. Oh, it's terrible. <laughs> okay, and then there's this line at his ear. And that ear. I mean, you really got to make sure that's closed. Okay, then you can try to put the background in, and it might actually work. Boom! Oh, see? Ah, oh, there we go. There we go. <laughs> so, and then I can, you know. Put uh, pink in his face, in his ears, <laughs> and there we go. So, again, I don't usually do cartoons or animation with paint, but I wanted to show that you could do it. So, let's take this out. Actually, there's only so far you can go back, and then they don't let you go back anymore. Like, so it's like 20 or 30 moves, and then you can't go back anymore. So I was lucky. <laughs> um, okay, let's, uh, let's put a nice burgundy background on here. And then I'm going to click the select arrow here, the square, and you can select an area and just move it out of there, out of that background. And you can even put another color in there if you wanted to. Yeah. Come on now. See? So you can make boxes to work in. 
Um, of course, you can do text, and there's all kinds of fonts, text, that you can do. Hello, Jamie. <laughs> What's been going on with your shows? Uh, I got Belongs to the Shadows, a Halloween okay. edition Sunday. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of exciting. I'm going to be telling the history of Halloween. The history of it? Yeah, it's going, all the way, going all the way back to the Celts and Sam Hain, are you? Yep. <laughs> Very good. I asked my you husband if he would that. like to be a part of it. <laughs> I had to learn that because when I was in China and I was teaching, people would ask me about Halloween. They would ask me, where did it come from? Oh, wow. And I would be like, well, you know, I, I honestly, I don't know. <laughs> I've been celebrating it for years. And I didn't know where it came from. So I went, I went back and looked it up. Oh, that's cool. And I would teach my, I would teach my students where it came from. And I, and I say, and keep asking Americans why they celebrate Halloween. Eh. And watch them, watch them vapor lock. Because um, most um, people don't know it. Yeah. Especially yeah. in America. So that'll be a good show. That'll be an interesting show. I That's asked my husband show. if he would be a part of it. He's thinking about it. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, and, and again, November 1st is the Day of the Dead mm -hmm. in Mexico. And uh, there there is a day called Tomb Sweeping Day in China where they, oh, wow. where they and that moves around because uh, they're on the lunar calendar. So everything on their schedule moves around. But, uh, yeah, that's the day when they're supposed to honor the dead and go to their graves and, you know, make sure they're nice and tidy and everything. And they'll bring food and offer food to the ghosts and stuff. It's pretty oh, interesting. Oh, wow. That's yeah. interesting. Lay out a nice big spread with drinks. <laughs> so, okay. So, I'm going to pull up a picture. It'll probably come from General Howitzer's folder. I have all my stuff ready. See, now I have all kinds of backgrounds already set up so that I can just make posters quickly. But uh, let's say that we want to... There's Tom Cruise. Let's pull up Tom Cruise. <laughs> I'm not going to say this. There he is. Tom Cruise as Lestat the Vampire. And I'm like, well, wait a minute. I don't like Tom Cruise. <laughs> so I, I could draw over on him, you know, be be really infantile if I wanted to. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> okay, I'm going to select this free form selection here, which is uh, it's it's comes down from the select box there, and it's free form, and then I can circle you know, his hair and his face like this. Uh, and I, I'm, I'm pretty good at this, but uh, not great, but pretty good. So let's say I open another picture. How about a picture of General Howitzer? <laughs> or better yet, how about a picture of Jason from Friday the 13th? <laughs> now, I can pay. Oh, ah, darn it. I forgot to click copy. We got to go back. Or actually, better yet, <laughs> freeform selection. I'm going to freeform selection Jason's hockey mask. Just going to do a circle around it and his head, and then push copy, and then pull up that Lestat picture. <laughs> you know what I'm going to do, right? Yeah. <laughs> so then I can paste this. Oh, I got to bring it up a little larger. 130. Let's try that. Not enough. Uh, paste. Also, uh, I have to select um, transparent. So... <laughs> 150. There we go. That looks better. That looks more like it. <laughs> <laughs> so now it's Lestat Friday the 13th. Uh, uh, Dennis De Deflumery <laughs> does this. You know, he makes 
pictures with you know monster us uh, our faces on monster bodies and stuff all the time. So okay. Uh, and again, I can I can you know change the size of these and put whatever kind of you know vampire less dot yeah. says you suck. Oh. <laughs> a nice little meme, nice little poster, whatever. Mm. So there's all kinds of stuff you can do with pictures with this, with art. Um, let me start a new one. Okay, you've got a form. You got you've got lines here and um, shapes in the middle. You can do straight lines all over the place. And again, fill those in with whatever you want. Ah, damn it. Not paying attention. This is why it takes me so long to do these things. <laughs> okay, then we go to the bucket. And again, we can fill that stuff in. And again, you can you can actually draw shapes. And again, I should go back to black when I do that. There we go. Um, and circles and ovals. You know, basically, just any kind of shape you need for whatever it is that you're doing. Whoops. Hey, it's the Pentagon. It's a star. And again, fill them in. Whatever you like. And it's a fun little program to use. It's very easy to use. Um, are you part of any of the Halloween shenanigans like the SDF or is Jay having a jam session? This yeah. Weekend? Yeah. I'm part of that. I think I'm part of that too. <laughs> Isn't that terrible? I think I I'm, I'm on it. Cause free. I'm doing the Halloween set for, for SDF on month. Uh, I think that's, that's Monday or no, that's Sunday. It's Sunday. It's during like my show belongs to the shadows, but I was like, so, yeah, people will catch the replay. It's cool. <laughs> well, when, when is Jay's show? His jam His fest? show is Saturday. Oh, it's Saturday. Yeah. Oh, um, I'm going to have to perform from Lake city then. <laughs> okay. I'll have to figure out which time I'm, I'm going up and, and perform from Lake City. I hope it's not 5 o'clock because <laughs> I'm supposed to be meeting with people for my show. Uh, I'll have to contact them about that. My slot's at 3 p.m., so if you need to switch with me, I'm good with that. Okay. Well, again, I'll talk to them about that. Let me open. Um, my black ad which is for the day of a show today at 6 p.m. See how I have a already prepared, <laughs> already ready with my Cosmos Creative TV at the bottom and my pictures with me and uh, Millie Hazard on the top, or I should say General Howitzer and Millie Mazard at the top. Hazard, Mazard, <laughs> Millie Hazard at the top. And then there's the blank space to put my stuff, you know, my posters and my guests and everything in. So um, what I'm going to do is now open um, the poster that I want to put on that. We're doing uh, Jason uh, Lives. Friday the 13th, part six, I believe it is. Jason Lives. And I've got lots of posters here. I'm going to pull this one up, see what it looks like. Oh, yeah, that's good. That's nice. Okay, so I'm going to select, select all, copy, pull up my poster ad number four. And then paste that bad boy right on there. 
Okay, perfect. I don't even have to resize it. It's perfect. Sweet. So I've got the poster on there now. And now I'm going to save this as, save as, um, Jason Libs, number four. All right, so now I just go back to open and I'll pick out a picture of Julio from Howitzer Guests. Because <laughs> Julio's my guest. How about this one? I like that one. And it's big, so I gotta shrink it. It's still too big. So I'm gonna shrink it a little more. Let's go to 35%. That looks pretty good. Use my select and I'll crop it a little short. So it'll fit. Copy. Pull up Jason Lives for. Don't save. And paste. I'll put him over here. And yeah. Put him in the middle. Okay. So we put that there. And then I go to um, my text. Let's. Let's do, I like um, impact, it's a great text. With our special guest. I'll even that up a bit. Put Julio Morales <laughs> over here. Let me do that in a different color. Let's do white. That. Easy reach. Julio Morales. And let me put on there. Whoops. <laughs> Jason Voorhees. <laughs> Expert. Dang. Blast you. Okay, there we go. Okay, so now we got that nice little credit for him on the right. So I've got a lot of space in the middle here. So we already have the time, 6 p.m. We already know it's a discussion on Friday the 13th, part 6. So let me put some pictures from the movie in the middle here to make it look nice. Awesome. So we're save this again. Doing. And we're going to open some pictures. Whoops. Wrong file. That was the guest file. Uh, Jason lives. Okay, here's a good shot. Let me select all on that. Copy it. Bring back Jason Lynch for and boom. I always thought this was Kane Hodder doing this. This, this was this. I thought this was his first one, but uh, Julio corrected me actually when we talked about this. Let's resize it. 70. Oop, a little too much. Let's go back. Paste again. Sometimes you gotta do it a couple of times before you get it right. Let's try 85. Okay, that works. That looks nice in there. Now let me find another nice picture. Let's save that. And hey, we already got a Jason picture. That's all I got really here is Jason. I thought I took some pictures of other people in the movie. I guess, I guess it's basically just chicken. Wait a minute. There's there's uh, the hero of the film. Uh, I can't remember his name. Let's resize that. 60%. And then I'll use my select to crop it. So we don't have all that headspace on it. Copy it. Bring back Jason Lives 4. Don't save. Hopefully, I'll be able to squeeze this right in there. Look at that. That's cool. Look at that. Perfect. Man, am I good. 
Okay, so now we got two nice pictures there. We got Julio's picture on the right. We've got everything we need at the top already. We've got the, the Facebook.com groups, Cosmos Creative TV at the bottom. I'm saving it and I'm sending it myself in the mail so I can show it tomorrow. Yeah. Um, and that's basically how you use it. I mean, it's it's a nice little easy tool to create flyers and stuff. Um, so I thought I'd just give a quick show you what it is and where you can find it. You can find it in your computer. If, it, if you've got MS, you know, Microsoft in your computer, if it's not an Apple, um, you've got Microsoft Paint in there. And you can use it to kind of shuffle things around and, and create text and create different color backgrounds. And you, you can even get more creative with it and use like they have like a spray paint feature that you, you know on your brushes. You got different kind of brushes that you can use to to draw on, you know, and do art, that kind of thing. Let me show you the spray paint real quick. I don't know if you can see this. Let's yeah. see how I'm see how I spray spray painting on there. So that doesn't look good, so I'm taking it out, but <laughs> I just wanted to show you. That's cool. You know, and again, if you want to get fancy and, you know, different, do different color lines here and there, you know, you can do that as well. I mean, it's just, it's up to your creati creativity and what you want to do, you know. So, but I like it just the way it is here. So I'm saving it like this and uh and again but you know that'll be you'll see that tomorrow on on the general howitzer room feed uh as my poster for tomorrow's show That's and i i have to get that timeline to renee <laughs> <laughs> so I, I, I just sounded like jeff goldblum there i have to get that <laughs> timeline to renee <laughs> so <laughs> well um i'm gonna call it short uh uh, it's a shame Sandy didn't join us. Uh, you know, I mean, it would have been nice to have had her here and do some some um, trivia. Yeah. Um, but thank you for coming on. Thank you for telling, having me. <laughs> telling me about uh, what you've got coming up. If oh. there's anything else you want to plug right now, this is the time to do it. it belongs to the shadows is the only thing I can think of. It's it's all about Halloween. That's for sure. Yeah. <laughs> When's the next jam session? Um, the jam session has ended for the season. Uh, the first jam session will be coming back in January. I believe it's January 7th, and I have a guest lined up for that. Awesome. Um, and I'm hoping to get press passes to a concert that I'm going to in Atlanta on November 25th um, with a mainstream band. I'm not going to say who because I don't want to jinx it. <laughs> but oh, okay. Hopefully I can okay. get that approved and do an interview with them. Awesome. <laughs> well, I wish you luck on that. Oh, well, thank you. I hope you get it. I hope you get to do it. Oh, thank that you. I fantastic. appreciate that. I'll be vlogging from there. I will record what bits and pieces I can. So. <laughs> All right. Well, very good. Um, I, Again, again, we'll be doing two howitzers uh, through January, and then uh, we'll bring It's Casual back on Tuesdays. Um, and uh, I just wanted to catch this show up to that. Hopefully, we'll have close to 70 shows for each um, when February comes. Yeah. And uh, um, I'm talking to uh, John Michael Arpano about possibly doing a, a children's show with him. That would be cool. Teach kids stuff and... Um, I may be doing another original character with that, which would be nice. And of course, this weekend I'll be in Lake City doing the 800 Voices on Friday and Elvish uh, <laughs> on Saturday. So that's going to be a lot of fun. That will be Willow. awesome. Yeah, Willow's going to have a show. Um, she's going to be taking over half of the jam session goes underground slot with her version of that show. So like kid right. friendly. <laughs> awesome. Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, I mean, the sky's the limit when it comes to, you know, the social media, you know, I mean, again, young kids, I, I have so much, so many kids, they're like, I don't know what you're, what voice you're doing, because <laughs> I do a lot of older voices, you know, yeah. I'm doing Boris Karloff and Bela Lugosi, P Vincent Price, and they don't have any idea who the hell that is. Who's that? <laughs> so, 
but I'm getting a lot of good reaction on it because there's there's several impersonators out there, you know, on TikTok and, and Instagram that are doing, you know, a handful of voices that are modern. Yeah. And they're getting they're getting a lot, a lot of following. I mean, they're getting a huge following doing Trump and 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 Jeff Goldblum and you know <laughs> and uh and and they're good. Uh, but, um, you know, mine is more quantity, you know, I mean, I'm the yeah. fan of a thousand voices. So I try to do a different one every day and it make it short and sweet. And, uh, I'm hoping that's going to help me, uh, to get noticed. And I'm, I'm hoping it's going to help to, you know, to get, to get my face and my voices out there. Yeah. So, so far, so good. I'm, you know, slowly, but surely. That's awesome. Yeah. I seen that where you had, I forget how many views on that one TikTok. I was like, that's awesome. Vincent Price is almost at 12,000 right now. It's at oh, 11,800 wow. right now. That is awesome. So, and again, the first day I did it, you know, I had a lot of flack from people. A lot of haters were like, hey, it sounds nothing like him. And hey, he's a guy who's been oh. dead for 50 years and, you know, and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, it's, it's, obviously it's, a lot of people still love that stuff. You know, I mean, because uh, again, I got uh, huge hits on that. That's awesome. The ones that I've gotten the most flack from haters on are the ones that actually get seen the most for some reason. It's, <laughs> yeah. I did a Freddy Krueger and they were they were like, oh, it sounds like, I, like, like 10 people said, it sounds like Yoda doing Freddy. <laughs> that was like the joke. And then, yeah, but it's got 8,000 hits, dude. Yeah. You know, you've got three followers. <laughs> you know, you're, you're pretty critical, huh? Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, to try not to let that hate get to me. Mm -mm, I, I wouldn't I mean that that maybe that's a good thing sometimes like I just see it as you know hey <laughs> well, and again it's it's I always go to check the page of the person who's hating and yeah. it's like it's like they just started the page they only yeah. got a couple of followers they only got a couple of posts on their own and it's just you know it, there's nothing special about what they're posting you know yeah it's just, so I, I guess they're just kind of angry that they don't have a following and, you know, That's and I've, guess. you know, I've done like a hundred videos, over a hundred videos now since I started a few months back. Yeah. Uh, I've been trying to do at least a voice a day. Yeah. And, and like Taylor Swift says, haters are going to hate, you know. <laughs> yeah. Boy, that's the truth. There's a lot of <laughs> trolls out there. Pretty much. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you again for coming on. Thank you, Renee, for setting up the uh, the, the post for us. I hope Sandy feels better. Uh, I know she had a kind of a rough day today. Uh, she didn't go into specifics, but I know she had a rough day today. So I, I do hope she gets better. She feels better and things things work themselves out. Yeah. And uh, thank you for watching uh, Painting with Rory, uh, the MS Paint Edition. <laughs> and we'll see you next Wednesday. And thank you, Jamie, for coming on. Thank you for having me. <laughs> and we'll see you tomorrow on Jeff.